Hey, good morning, friends. I'm so excited to see you. Um, my name is Miss Sammy, and I want to welcome you to chapel today. Let's start by saying good morning to God. So get your prayer hands. Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. So Good job, great singing. Let's get our altar ready. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to light our candle. I have my candle and my light. Can you get your light ready? Okay, here we go. We light this candle to remind us that, say it with me, Jesus is the light of the world. Great job. I have my very special cross with us this morning, and the cross reminds us that Jesus is God's Son. Can you make cross fingers? You know how you do that. Just like that. Good job. Now let's say this part together. Jesus died on the cross to forgive us of our sins. Good job, friends. Do you know what this book is? This is the Bible. Remember, this is God's holy word. And, and when something is holy, it belongs to who? God. That's right. So let's open our Bibles to our Bible verse. Um, it is in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. And it says, Be kind and compassionate to one another. This is our our memory verse today. Let's say it together. I'm going to teach you together, okay? You ready? Be kind and compassionate to one another. Great job. And that's in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Wonderful. Well, our altar is ready, and it helps us to remember when we do all of these special things, it help us, helps us to remember that this is a holy time. And remember, when something is holy, it belongs to God, and we want to give God our very, very best, right? So, before we finish, I want to introduce to you our fruit of the Spirit that goes with our Bible verse, and hey, let's check out and see what's growing on our fruit of the Spirit tree. Oh, here it is. Take a good look at this. This right here is the fruit of kindness. Kindness. And kindness is one of the ways that we show others God's love. And if you noticed in the picture, those two friends were holding hands. They were smiling. They were being kind to one another. Now this is how we're going to remember kindness. So put your hands up just like this, like you're holding someone close and showing them love, just like that. Kindness. Wonderful. Way to go. Well, this month we're going to hear a lot of stories about kindness, and we're going to see from, from the Bible that sometimes it's easy to be kind, sometimes it's hard. But we know that with God's help, we can be kind and compassionate to one another. Thank you, friends. Hey, make sure you sing with a big, strong voice. And make sure you listen with listening ears and a quiet mouth, safe hands, and safe feet. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, friends, I'm here with my special friend. He's actually my son, Jeremiah, and today we're going to sing He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. Are you ready to sing? Jeremiah's going to show us what to do with our hands. Okay, here we go. He's got the whole world.
for one more story to help us learn about kindness and about Joseph and about when things go wrong, when things just seem crazy. God has a plan. So, if you remember last time, Joseph, um, he started working for Pharaoh, like his little Pharaoh. He, he's an Egyptian governor now, and he's in charge of all of Egypt. He's got his working clothes on. Um, and all of Egypt has, they're, they are so prosperous, even in the fa famine, because Joseph had a plan to save all the grain during the years of abundance. And now that it's the years of famine, there's plenty of food. In fact, there's so much food that the whole world is coming to Egypt to buy grain so that they can have food too. And he is so smart and I'm so proud of him. Guess who else is going hungry during the famine? Joseph's family. And this is his daddy, Jacob. And Jacob is very worried and concerned because his whole family is hungry and they don't have grain. And he knows that they got to do something. He's heard that there is grain in Egypt. And so he sends all of his sons to Egypt to buy grain. And he says, boys, boys, it's time to go to Egypt to buy grain. But... Benjamin, you're the baby. You're the baby brother. And Benjamin, I don't want you to go. I want to keep you safe. So Benjamin, you stay home with me. Okay, Dad, I stay home with you. All the brothers go to Egypt to buy grain. And what they don't know is the person they're going to have to talk to to buy the grain is Joseph. Now, when they see Joseph, they don't, they don't recognize him. They just think he's an Egyptian ruler. Um, but Joseph recognizes them, and he knows exactly who they are. He knows, these are the brothers who hurt me. These are the brothers who sold me as a slave. What do you think he's going to do? You think he's going to be mad? Do you think he's going to throw them into prison? Do you think he's going to kill them? Let's see. So, they come in to talk to Joseph about buying grain, and he's like, Hey, you are spies. You cannot buy grain. You are spies. You're here to spy on Egypt. No, 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 your, your royal highness, no. We are, we're honest. We're seven, on, we're actually ten of, we're twelve. We're twelve honest men of, and our father is Jacob, um, our youngest brother, our baby brother is at home with our father because he wanted to keep him safe. And then 
we got a brother who, who is no more. And so our family is starving. We're here to buy grain. Please, please help us. Please help us. No, you are spies. We promise we're not spies. Then I will give you a test. You must leave one of your brothers here with me. And then I will give you grain. You can return home. But you must return to me and bring your youngest brother with you. And then I'll know you're honest men and you can trade in, in Egypt all you want. <gasps> oh no, we can't do that. You must. And so right then and there, he took Simeon and he was like, you have to stay with me. The 10 brothers are pretty upset, um, but they take the grain and they go home because they know without this grain, all of their families are gonna die. Now, when they get home, they explain to Jacob everything that happened and they're very upset. Um, and he's like, I'm sorry, but you cannot take, you can't take Benjamin with you, the baby brother. Now I've lost Joseph. Now I've lost Simeon. I will not lose Benjamin too. <sighs> but guess what? Time passed and they ran out of grain again and their families were starving. So finally, Jacob relents. He sends Benjamin to go with the rest of his brothers into Egypt. Now, once more, they have to appear before Joseph to buy grain. When he knows that they're there, he prepares a feast for them. And he brings Simeon out to join them. Yay! We're all together again! Simeon, Simeon, we're so glad to see you! We're all together! Joseph notices that, in fact, they did bring their baby brother, Benjamin, and he's, he's just amazed and overwhelmed when he sees his baby brother that he loved so much. Do you know what happens? He weeps, but he doesn't want them to see him weeping, so he hides. <laughs> oh, my baby brother! <laughs> okay, dry your tears. all eating and he he says okay you can have your grain but he decides to give them one more test to see if their hearts really have changed so he tells all his servants to fill all of their bags with grain and he says fill all their but the youngest one benjamin's bag take my silver cup my royal silver cup and put it in benjamin's bag that's exactly what they did they put it in benjamin's in benjamin's bag then they sent them on their way after they went a little ways he told his ser servant he's like okay go catch up with them and then stop them and said why did you steal from pharaoh's governor and they're like we didn't we didn't steal and then they searched all the bags and they found guess what we found this in your bag, in the youngest brother's bag. You must return to Egypt and face the consequences. Well, so here is Joseph with all of his brothers. And he's like, oh, I can't believe you stole from me. You stole my silver cup. And because you stole my silver cup, you, youngest brother, have to stay with me as my slave. Well, that's when Judah steps up. And Judah's like, no, 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 please, 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 please don't do this. It will break our father's heart and he will die of a broken heart. Please don't do this. Hey, you know what? Keep me, keep me instead. We had a brother who who is no more and and we think he's dead and and my my father's brokenhearted if he loses benjamin too he will die 
let me stay as your slave. When, when Joseph heard this, he was overwhelmed with emotion and he knew this brother that sold him into slavery, his heart was changed. And Joseph is overcome with emotion and he says, look, look brothers, it's me. It's me, I am Joseph. I'm the one that you sold into slavery. I'm so glad to see you and I forgive you, please. I want you to come live with me here because this famine isn't going to end for a while and I can take care of you. Come and live with me and I will take care of you and I forgive you and I love you. And all of those brothers, all of those brothers were so happy and they were so glad and they went and told their dad, Jacob, and Jacob was happy and so glad too. And they all came to live with Joseph in Egypt and he took care of them forever. And I'm so thankful because now you see, you see, this is it. And this is what he said to his brothers. What you meant for evil, God meant for good. And God sent me ahead of you so that I could save your lives. Because remember, friends, what do we say? God has a plan. I'm so thankful for the kindness of God. I'm thankful for Joseph who forgave his brothers and showed them kindness. I'm thankful for Judah who was willing to sacrifice himself and show kindness for Benjamin and his father. Hey, I love you and we will hear another story next time of God's goodness and, and greatness. Bye, friends. Hey, everybody. It's Miss Sammy here and I'm with Jeremiah. And we're here to sing a song for you um, called This Little Light of Hold Your Pit Sign Up. So they can read the words. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Okay, and Jeremiah, why do we want to sing this song? Why? <laughs> well, so that others can know that God loves them and that they'll want to follow God and they'll know that God is with them and for them. So that's why we let our light shine so other people can see the light of God. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to sing? Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. 